Good morning. This is a day. Glory be to the Lord, the King of Kings, the Rose of Sharon, the God that is full of might and power. May His name be praised forevermore. Amen. Gladly, by the grace of God, I want to welcome you all to this wonderful day that through the mercies of God we have received a life. This morning, by His grace, I am glad. Glad to see you all again by His grace. I know this day promised to be a wonderful one by the grace of God. For it was said, Blessed be the Lord, for daily He has loaded us with benefits. This morning, we want to look at a topic spiritual eyes of hope. By the grace of God, we look at Abraham. He lived in hope yesterday, and we said, Hope. Talks about relying and believing and expecting the future good that someone has promised you. There is a spiritual eyes of hope. If you cannot see what God had for you, you continue to live in the wilderness of fear, in the wilderness of disappointment. In the wilderness of skepticism, in the wilderness of pessimism, in the wilderness of rejection, in the wilderness of of continuous degradement, because the eyes of seeing those things God has a plan for you, you can you are not seeing them. It will reject. It will ref, it will make your spiritual connectivity to die because there is no spiritual eyes of seeing those things God has put in place for you the book of Romans chapter 8 20 to 25 that is where our text is from but by the grace of God we are reading verse 24 of Romans chapter 8 for we are saved by hope but hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth why does it yet hope for spiritual eyes of hope? What a man seeing is no longer hope. In this context, spiritual eyes of hope is mainly institutionalized on those promises that God has given to you as a being that God has created within the spiritual rage. And this is what counts, and this is what pews, and this is what makes you, and this is what creates you, and this is what makes you who you are. Because it is the secret of living. It is the secret of our existence. Did you know that you receive more input from your eyes than any other sense. Just think how drastically your life would change if you couldn't see. Therefore, it is easy to understand why you are so dependent on your physical sight. However, there are things you can't see. In the kingdom of God, hope, believe in the things that have no physical evidence. Hope is a confidence, trust, and reliance on God for results that can be seen in the natural. Those who cannot break free from their senses, especially their sight, will never be able will never be able to operate in God's kind of hope. How do we overcome what our physical eyes tell us? If our circumstances are contrary, 
to what we know God wants us to have. How do we conquer the negative impute? The answer is God's word. Through meditating and hunting on God's word, we get spiritual sight and can see more clearly with our spiritual eyes. We do have spiritual senses. This is what Jesus meant when he said, He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Matthew 11 verse 15. We have spiritual ears and eyes that enable us to perceive things that are hidden to our natural senses. If you haven't begun, begun to use your spiritual senses, start today. Here is a tip. You can't see with your physical eyes if they are close. Likewise, you can't see with your spiritual eyes if they are not open to the spirit and the word of God. If you don't see your word through the Holy Spirit impartation of God's word, you are spiritually blind. And you don't want to be blind in your spirit. Open up your spiritual eyes by opening up your heart to God's word. And then hope will manifest. Praise God. I pray the Lord bless His word in our hearts in Jesus' name. That we will manifest the spiritual hope in Jesus' name. Amen. By the grace of God. Amen. To show us tomorrow. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for another hesitation. Till then, stay blessed.